Welcome back, nerds and nerdettes. After a few hundred hours of playing Power World, I got some tips and tricks for beginners all the way through the advanced players and show you how to complete that tech tree 100% so you can have every item in the game unlocked. Let's get into it. One of the very good beginner tips here you're gonna wanna know is every time you catch 10 of a type, yeah. it does increase your xp and that does scale with your level on max level you see here i just got ten thousand for catching that rush orb vixie is a good pal to catch early especially if you can get to rank three because you're allowed to get higher tier items Ooh. unlocked when they're digging in the farm you'll see here i get mega spears arrows and pal arrows from having a level three vixie just sitting in a ranch when you're flying around, grab the eggs as you see them. There'll be any size from reg normal to large to huge. If you hear that noise, that's a shiny. So we're going to go over that. It's a lucky. Uh, you can catch these in any game. They're just randomly spawned. Mm. Unfortunately, this one died. But I'm going to show you how to do a revive. So I'm going to get my land ball out and let him die. And we're going to get out of here. When you drop land ball in your party, instead of waiting 10 minutes... What will happen is one of your pals that has the capability of transport will come and grab land ball. Now he's still there, but trust me, Lilian Knox is gonna carry him over to one of the beds over here, which will instantly revive him so you don't have to wait 10 minutes. She's just gonna take her sweet time. While she's doing that, I hope some of these tips and tricks in this video, I know some of the later ones I've never heard anybody talk about. If they do help you, you know, do the thing right here. If there's tips and tricks that I did not put in here that you feel are helpful to other people, leave them in the comments below. We all want to help each other in this game. You know, it's a fun, interactive game. I'm redoing my second base here. I'm actually doing a dual base connection point. If you look here, land ball is on the ground, but in about two seconds, Lionel Knox is going to put him on a bed. There it goes. So now you'll see here, he's instantly healing, laying on the bed. I can go over and put him in my party. Once he's in my party, because he's healing right now, I can put him in my party, and he will continue to heal, so I can take him with me, especially if it's one of your mounts that you fly on. So that egg we just grabbed, if you put it in the incubator after it's fully incubated, whether you do the instant incubator or not, it does count as a catch. So you got 10,000 XP just for having four of these now. This work bell that you get at level four, it allows you to command your pals to either attack or work. So if there was a raid, you hit it and they attack. If they're walking around doing nothing, you hit it and work, they get back to work. If you use your points early in game, you can wipe it having the electronic memory bench. So in the beginning of the game, you have your health, stam, attack, defense, work speed, weight over here on the right. All the stuff we put our points in early. If you put your points into work speed, you don't want those points there. You can reset them and transition them somewhere else. Kativa early game. Their, path, their partner skill is if you have them in your inventory in your party along with King Paka, they will increase the max amount of weight you can carry. So they're good to have in your party even if they're not attacking. Early game, your gliders are amazing. They help you out in a lot of situations. What? But if you have a Gale Claw or a Hangula, you can actually utilize what? these to get around just like a glider. They just got to be in your party and you have to have the POW ability unlocked. What? So you have to craft the item. But these are really good, especially they're better than the gliders early game. If you're transporting items, you can, if you have them in your inventory and they say there's a half a stack here, you can hit quick stack, which is your R button down here in the right corner. And this will actually put it automatically in your inventory. If you have a bunch of items that are separated, maybe you drag them over manually and you hit sort, it does stack them. If you want to move everything from your box into your possession, you just hit the X button. It unstacks everything. A good way to get tech manuals to get those tech points that we were talking about. Those tech points can be got in any cave. So just go into a basic dungeon. You can just get around these pretty quick and easy. I use yeah. my flying mount, the Ragnarok. Uh, one, it's small enough to go through. If you can't fly, you can always use a chillet. You can get those early game with a saddle. But once you go into a dungeon, you want to go straight to the end. You don't need to catch anything. You don't need to fight anything. You can just literally fly around it, run by it. I don't use my jet dragon. Because he does get stuck in all these sections, you have to keep dismounting. Now, I'm going to show you one glitch, and this is the only glitch I'm going to show you because the fact of what I'm showing you is still going to be valid. Manuals will still be in the game. You can get them at the end of any dungeon. They have an opportunity to drop. If you get to the end here, I'm just going to show you a quick glitch to get through the wall. 
But no matter what, even if they patch the wall glitch, you can still come down here. You can still beat the pal. You can still get your alpha pal, or you can just get the items. And you can still do this opportunity to get you more tech points. So what you want to do here in this case, I'm going to climb up. I'm going to throw my pal through the wall, and then I'm going to mount it when it's on the other side. And that just gets me through the barrier. Uh, not a bad glitch. I mean, it's not really anything major, but there you go. High tech grade right in the first cave. Another way to get these, uh, first off, I'll show you what I do is I like to mark them with skulls or the little heads, demon heads. So I know where the caves are, especially my higher tier zones. In the later zones or in the early zones, you can still come over here. These sanctuaries have chests. I mark them every time I found one. So there's about 10 to 11 in every area. You can get schematics, you can get sellables, and you can get tech manuals. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how many I got total once I hit all these up. So I have zero points. You go to your party, I have the one green one, and then I have six of the rare ones. And there's also epic. They give you two, three, and one point. Now I have 13. If I didn't have my tech manual fully filled out, I could use those points to unlock anything in the game that I haven't unlocked yet. This is an important tip. I don't see anybody talking about. I took away all the beds and food over here. These guys are depressed, fractured, ulcer. They're just, they're hating life. Normally you interact with them by hitting four and you could feed them. But sometimes that button doesn't show up and we've all run into this situation. I do it all the time. Or if they're working and you want to just go over, feed them real quick and give them their medicine so they can get back to work. You can't click them. You can't pick them up. You can't move them. So instead of dropping them in and out of your party and then try to pick them up as they run away, the easiest way to do this is go to your party, take your regular party members out, like you'll see here, and then put your injured ones in your party inventory. Click on the item, go to use. When it goes to use, it'll show you who needs it. You just click it and use it. And then you'll notice it gives you the ability to use it again. So you just click on the one that you want. Now I go to, now I go to my next one. I click on this guy and I'll click on this guy. Now, if you look, every single one of them is healed. They all have no depression, no fractures, no nothing. With all the pals you collect, if there's extra pals uh, or you want to power them up to get like the Vixie I said earlier, this is what you want to do. You want to come to your condenser, pick your pal, pick four random pals or four pals of your choice. The ones in yellow will get dis will disappear. Blue one will be the one that gains the level. So once you click begin condenser, it gets rid of the four at the bottom, upgrades the one up top. You get your attack, defense and skill abilities. Vixie is the one I explained to you. I actually have it at three. This video is pre-recorded. So you'll see here, that's how I get it to three. Given this ability, you'll see dig here, number four, which is how you get the mega spears. And if I want to go to the next one, I have to have 32. I can't put them in and then get rid of them. I have to wait to get three. So once you grade them all the way up to level four, as you can see here, this has none. But if I get it to four, what happens is these see how it's cooling four. I'll show you my Anubis. It's got handwork, transportation, mining. All these levels will go up one once you have it maxed out to four. So all of them will gain a level. Unlike Pokemon, pals can learn any skill or ability. So you see here, I have Rock Lance. I can put Rock Lance on any of my pals in my party. So if I want, you know, any one of these to learn it, except for uh, Necromus, he already knows it. So I can pick him Palladius. I notice here he doesn't know how to do it. I click Rock Lance. It's now in his inventory. So I have his normal abilities I had. If I click on Spear Thrust here, it will show me now I have the ability to drop Rock Lance on him. So now he knows Rock Lance, so I can use it for any ground attack or anything like that if I have a certain ability. Everybody should know this trick by now, but if you don't, I'm at 103,000 weight. Your grapplers will continue to move you no matter how overweight you are, even though so you don't have to walk super slow. I'm over 100,000 pounds and I only carry 1,000. A quick trick is if you take it in and out of your inventory, it resets the cooldown so you don't have to wait for the five seconds or eight seconds, depending on your level. I have every single schematic in the game, legendary. The pump's the only one I haven't made yet, but I'll show you where you can get every single one of these items, starting with Chill It. Chill It will give you old cloth, the regular cloth gear from the beginning of the game. Pen King will give you the feathered hat or the hair hat piece. You'll have Azarobi. This will give you the pelt armor. King Paka will give you the old bow. Bushi will give you the crossbow. Elizabeth will give you the metal armor. You'll have the metal helm from Warsec. Beaking will give you the handgun. 
We go up here to medicine. We'll get refined metal helm. You get the heat resist refined from Astagon for the, the plate armor. You'll get the cold resist refined plate armor for Lyleen Knox. Suzaku will give you the pump action shotgun. Blazemut will give you the assault rifle. For Stallion Knox will give you the pal metal helm that I had on. Palladius and Necromus will give you the cold resist pal metal armor and then the heat resist pal metal armor in that order. And if you go down to Dragon, you'll get the rocket launcher schematic. 